What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Science. I mean, welcome to After Prison Show. And today I want to talk to you guys about 10 things you never want to have happen while you're serving time in prison. When you think about serving time, it's not going to be a glamorous situation. It's not going to be very fun at all. There's all sorts of things that could make that time even worse, like finding a candy bar on your pillow, probably one of the worst things that could ever happen, because then you've got to eat that candy bar. Then you've got to deal with the repercussions that are going to come after that. Serving time is already going to be a bad enough experience, but there's things that could make serving time better, and there's most certainly things that can make serving time a whole lot worser. Is that even a real word? Worser? And the sad reality about the situation is some of the things that we're going to be including in this video are things that are guaranteed to happen while you're serving time. Some of them are unavoidable. But before we go any further with this video, I do want to take a moment and address the sponsor of this video, an awesome mobile game by the name of Raid Shadow Legends. Introducing Raid Shadow Legends, the game that is already a mega hit, a phenomenon, a blockbuster. Get real, raw, dark, and awesome. Raid Shadow Legends will take you to the world of dark fantasy and realism. Now for those who don't know, Raid Shadow Legends is a brand new RPG collection game that is taking the mobile landscape by storm. And there's already been over 10 million people worldwide who have downloaded this game in just the first six months. There's also a lot of really awesome stuff that you can do while playing this game, Raid Shadow Legends, such as raiding with friends in a clan, claim glory in a PvP arena, discover 13 spectacular locations, and collect over 400 champions. And for those of you who don't know, the champions are the players that you can use to play in this game. Check out Gaelic right here. And also the Sniper. Check out old Sniper right there. And folks, my favorite champion is this guy right here. Check out Crusader with that big old sword. Boy, that's a big sword you got right there, Crusader. That's a big sword. Oh yeah. What I love about this game is that everyone can find something for themselves. Some love collecting characters, some are all about the deep storylines and graphics, and me personally, I'm down for combating against other players live. But that's just me. And folks, personally, I think this game is amazing, but you don't have to take my word for it. Check out the Google Play Store review with over 200,000 reviews on this game and raids almost perfect score. I wonder what After Prison Show score would be if we were on the Google Play Store. This game is growing super fast, and check out this cool roadmap they've published. They actually have huge plans for updates in the game, so there's basically infinite content for you to enjoy, and really no time to get bored. Also check out the new faction, a tag team arena feature, and even a new clan boss where you will be able to fight with your clan mates. And folks, if you download this game and want to join my clan, you can find me under the username Joe P. Guerrero. Y'all check out these graphics right here. I mean, this game has got probably the best graphics I've ever seen on a mobile game. So please check out the descriptions down below of this video and use the exclusive After Prison Show link to download Raid Shadow Legends for free. And when you do so, you're gonna be hooked up immediately with 50,000 silver and a new epic champion as a part of the new player's rewards program to start your journey. So again, a very special shout out to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video now with all of that being mentioned, what do you say we go ahead and we do Fuck! Don't ask me because I'm not honestly sure what I was going for right there. Head first into this video. 10 things that you never want to have happen while you're serving time. And folks, there are so many more than just the 10 things that are going to make this video. I'm quite certain when you think about serving time, you can already think of probably a billion things that you don't never want to have happen. But in this video, we're only going to go with 10. And we're going to start with number 10, working our way down to number one being probably one of the worst things. Well, it might not exactly be the absolute worst thing, but most certainly one of the worst things that you never want to have happen while you're serving time. But coming in at number 10, losing what little privileges you will have while you're serving time. Things such as the TV, or the microwave, rack, visitation, or even commissary and phone privileges. You know, when you get in trouble in prison, there's a lot of different punishments that they can hand out. And probably one of the most common that you might think of when you think about what happens when you get in trouble when you're locked up is going to the hole. But you know, sometimes going to the hole ain't that bad of a thing. 
You get you a little alone time. You can go on some prison dates. You can talk to a toilet paper roll. Once you draw a little picture of a face like Wilson from that movie Castaway with Tom Hanks, you can go crazy back there serving time. But to some prisoners, going to the hole might not even be that bad of a thing. I know it sure won't for little pistol starter J Money when I was locked up. God, I wish I had a do-rag right now. I'd give y'all one hell of a skit. This is gonna have to work. I don't have a do-rag. And also, please take notice to the fact that I've got a shower shoe as a part of the do-rag as well. Going to the hole? Hey, going to the hole? Don't you know who I am? I'm Jay Money. I'm a little pistol star to TTG for life. Ch -ch -ch dog life. I ain't worried about going to no hole. I got a shower shoe up in my do-rag, though. I am not worried about... Hey, for real, though. For real, hey, I ain't, I ain't really trying to go to the hole. Hey. Hey, you know that dude, little doo-doo thing? You heard what he be doing? Oh, you ain't heard yet? I'm about to write you a note on my shower shoe. Yeah, for some, going to the hole's just not that big of a deal. And in fact, what's even a worser type of punishment is a loss of privileges, such as the things that I just mentioned. The TV, the microwave, or wreck. Boy, you lose wreck, that might be more important to some dudes than visitation that they ain't even getting, or commissary. But that wreck time, though? You know, all of those things that can be taken away, those privileges, are a way that guys cope with doing time, a way that they bid, what helps them bid, to be able to go out on that wreck yard and kick it with their honey boo-boo, or to be able to go past that contraband, or whatever they do, work out, play the sports, politic and parlay and kick the bobo, chop it up with their friends. But let any or all of those privileges get taken away and that's all it takes to have a good day in prison turn into a bad one. And to go furthermore, don't ever be that prisoner who causes any or all of those privileges to be taken away. Because they like to use this punishment as a whole philosophy where if one guy messes it up for everybody, well, hopefully that guy's gonna get caught in the bathroom and get the bung bung put all over him. It's almost a way for the guards to let the prisoners do their job for them. Punishment as a whole. You don't ever want to be a prisoner who gets those privileges taken away for whatever reason. Because you ain't where you supposed to be or you loud mouthing and barking with a guard. Don't do that. Don't mess it up for everybody. Then you're going to find out about something else that you really don't want to have happen while you locked up. Coming in at number nine. This probably should be a lot more toward the top. I kind of put these together just thinking about them. So... Maybe some of these should fall a little bit higher. This one probably should. But number nine is you never want to become the prey while you're serving time and in prison. You never want to be classified as that weak prisoner, the guy that's getting taken advantage of, the guy that's getting extorted. That's something you definitely don't want to have happen. Now, you don't have to be the biggest, baddest, toughest prisoner. You ain't got to be You ain't gotta be none of that. I mean, look at me. I got a Jerry Seinfeld shirt on looking like Kramer in this video. And I survived seven and a half years plus 18 months plus God only knows how many other bids up inside the jail. Just fine. Yeah, I got beat up a lot, but I fought. I put my shoes on. And real quick, boy, let me flex one time. Y'all check out these. Y'all see these right here? These new J's, these new Jordans, these new LeBrons, these new Shaqs. Walmart shoes, $14. That's what I'm rocking from now on. No more Air Maxes. No more. I mean, I, I can't take... Oh! I don't know how to take care of no shoes. Ooh, these are brand new. How they smelling like that? So Wally World shoes, that's all I'm going to be rocking from now on. I'm about to make this a trend. Watch this take off. You let me know when you ordered your pair or you went and picked them up from Walmart. You ain't got to be the biggest, baddest prisoner. You just got to be a smart prisoner. You got to understand where you fit in in the food chain. You know, I was down at the bottom, but I was able to work my way up through clout, through hustles, through becoming a necessity. But to reiterate, you never want to become the prey. It's not going to be a good day. When them dudes are coming up to you and you just made commissary and all of that, they trying to take away. Boy, that's a ball. Coming in at number eight is something that's unavoidable while serving time. But trust me when I tell you, this is something you'll never want to happen. There's a lot of precautions, or at least certain precautions, you can take to try to prevent this. But chances are, when you serve time, you're going to experience getting sick. You know, I've seen some of the worst sicknesses that, you know, they probably got sicknesses that the CDC should be scared of. If you've ever watched The Walking Dead and that's one of your favorite shows like it is mine, a zombie apocalypse could legitimately take place from some of the sicknesses that break out inside of jails and prisons. Man, I've seen the swine flu mixed with the bird flu, mixed with H1Z1 and the butt flu. You will see some of the sickest individuals you've ever seen while you're serving time. And there ain't nothing worse and also scarier 
than being worried about contracting that disease, whatever it is, something that hasn't even been classified just yet. Then seeing an entire housing unit or cell block that you're in go under quarantine and they don't even know what the outbreak and the sickness is and you see dudes just laying up and they bunk like <laughs> You better go wash your hands. You better go wash them 20 times a day. But even with those precautions, there is a high likelihood that you could end up contracting that and you'll be looking just like <laughs> Praying to God you can overcome that sickness. There ain't nothing like, it ain't nothing worse than getting sick while you locked up, putting in a sick call slip, and them taking anywhere between 24 hours and two weeks to answer that. Getting sick while you're serving time is most certainly something that you don't ever want to have happen. Number seven, probably another thing that you're not going to be able to prevent, and it's a very real possibility that it's something that you will experience. Cody Q the violin track. And what number seven is, is becoming forgotten. You know, there comes a time in a guy's or gal's life when you're serving time and you're writing every single letter that you can every single day. You're quoting every rose has its thorn. You're quoting love poems and writing letters and coloring things with Skittles and M&Ms and making cards and paying for portraits. But there comes a time when, uh, when you could very likely become forgotten. And it can happen overnight. One day you get on that phone, and the next day you go back to try to get on that phone and that number doesn't have any money on it. And it never again will. You know, that's actually a worst fear of a lot of prisoners, is to become forgotten by their family and their friends. I would say girlfriend, but girlfriend's gonna make another, another number. So I don't wanna use that just yet, but keep that violin track going. You know, some guys, they don't want to do their time without mom and dad or the brother or their friends. But one thing is for certain, you know, when you're locked up, time don't stop out here in the free world. Just because you locked up doesn't mean that they locked up with you. And they damn sure gonna show you they ain't locked up neither when there's no more money on that phone and you ain't getting no mail and no visits or no commissary. You'll be sick at first, but then you'll figure out that, you know, for two soups, you can wash a guy's dirty underwear. And that washing clothes as a hustle, though it may be degrading, it's actually a good way to keep a little food in your belly. So number six is kind of pretty much exactly like what number seven was, and I do apologize, but this one needs to be its own category, its own, its own topic altogether, and that is losing a girlfriend or a boyfriend while you're locked up. And again, no amount of letters, no amount of phone calls and visits, and I love yous, and I swear, you my soulmate. You my soul. I don't care if you need two chairs to sit there in visitation. One Junie, 450 pounds on that seat. That seat is flexing. Boy, that joint is bowed out. You need a bow flex. I don't care. You are my soulmate. I have seen some of the toughest guys not only get knocked out in prison, but also, I mean, ball, uncontrollably sobbing. Balled up in the fetal position, thumb in their mouth. I mean, when you lose a girlfriend while you're locked up, something that you cannot control. You can't control when Jody comes into the picture. It's Murphy's Law. It's If it can happen, it will happen. I think I nailed that right on the head. Boy, that was philosophical right there. Losing a girlfriend, something you don't never want to have happen while you locked up. 99.9% .9 of the time, unless you are that absolute exception to the to the equation. It's gonna happen. You need to go ahead and prepare yourself for it. I know a lot of guys, I've done it myself. I've seen other guys do it as well. They'll get on that phone like, yo, I don't even know why you picking up the phone still. I got two months left, girl. You know you ain't gonna wait for me. You need to do us both a favor and just go find Jody. Go find Jody. And when you find him, you know, make sure he's taking care of you and taking care of our house. And you know, if he got a good job, you ask him to put a couple of dollars on my book. What you mean you leaving me? What you mean you leaving me? That was reverse psychology. That was reverse psychology, not reverse, reverse psychology. You can't go nowhere, girl, you can't. If a tree falls in the forest and no one's around to hear it, does it make a sound? It's like a guy in prison when he loses a girlfriend. Is he gonna cry? He is going to die on the inside. He might act like it doesn't affect him. I ain't even worried about the fact that you leaving me and you pregnant by four different guys at the same time. I'm not worried about that. Hey, there's 15 seconds left on this call. I'm gonna call you right back. We're sorry. 
but the number you were trying to dial no longer wants to speak to you. It's obvious they have not I put any phone. more money I'm on the on phone. The phone. Don't worry they about who got here. Double beer Goodbye. all night. Losing a girlfriend while you locked up, it's enough to break down the biggest of prisoners. Coming in at number five is ending up in a cell with a celly that you can't stand. A pretty good possibility of something you could experience while you're serving time and something that you don't ever want to experience. But again, there's a pretty good possibility you're gonna, you're gonna end up with a guy that you absolutely can't stand. And maybe it's because he stinks, he ain't had a shower in a month, it's enough for you to be ready to punch him in his face when he tries to open up his mouth to talk to you. Hey, yeah, what's good? I'm Joe. What's your name, man? I'm Bob. Bob, your damn mouth smells like a damn garbage disposal. What the hell you been eating? Ending up in a cell with a guy that you can't stand or a bad celly is something that is guaranteed to make your time just a whole hell of a lot more difficult than it needs to be. And you know, you ain't got a lot of options when you end up in a cell with somebody you don't like. You know, you could go try to talk to the authorities like Takashi 6 ix 9 trying to get moved about that cell, trying to do things the diplomatic way. Officer, I'm telling you right now, you need to move this dude, Bob, out of my cell before we end up in a fight. You're not gonna move him or me. Well, let me tell you what Bob's got up underneath his mattress. You could try to go about it the diplomatic way. You could try to fight the guy. You could try to push a kite or tell on the guy. Uh, but the chances are, it's not a very easy situation uh, to get yourself up out of. And a lot of times, you're just gonna have to suck it up, tie a sheet around your face anytime you're having a conversation with a guy, and try to make the best out of a smelly and stinky situation. I didn't do very good on that one right there. I wanted to put a lot more skits and emphasis into that, but I missed the mark. But a bad celly, something you don't never wanna have happen while you're locked up, but it will happen. Coming in at number four, you never wanna lose yourself when you're serving time. You never, you never wanna have that happen. What I mean by that is becoming institutionalized, becoming state struck. You know, you hear about guys who come home with problems. I came home with PTSD. I came home uh, with social anxiety disorder, probably depression issues, but you don't never wanna lose yourself. I think it should be a worse fear of a lot of prisoners. I know it was a worse fear of mine, especially when you see other prisoners who have already fallen into the zombie apocalypse. But that is like seeing another guy who has become changed in such a way that he is definitely, you don't even know how he was in the past, but you just know he is definitely a lot worse than he was when he came in. You never want to lose yourself like that Eminem 8 Mile song. You never want to let that happen when you're serving time, but it's something that can very easily happen. You can come out of that situation with more problems than when you went in. You can become traumatized. You can experience traumatizing things. Read between the lines. There's a lot of things you don't want to have happen to you while you locked up serving time, but some of those things, they just couldn't make this video. But losing yourself, that's a pretty big one too. You'll see guys become institutionalized and state struck thinking that them floors belong to them just because they buff them five times a day. Hey, yo, young blood, hey, young little whippersnake, you ain't gonna be walking on my floors with your state boots on. I'm saying though, what you want me to do, crawl on the wall like I'm Spider-Man, them floors were made to be walked on. I don't care if you buffing them five times a day. They don't belong to you. They don't belong to you. Where are you at? Where are you at? You're like the dudes in that movie, Get Out. You become lost in the sauce. Number three, and boy, we're getting down to some real doozies right here. You never want to be labeled, especially labeled in the wrong way. Now being labeled is like the tough guy. Oh man, you see little Jay Money? He knocked out little Dookie's thing. That ain't a bad label right there. But you never want to be labeled as the wrong thing. There's four main wrong things you never want to be labeled as. The people with the bad, bad charges, a thief, a cheat, or a Takashi 6 9 You never want to be labeled as that. And the best way to avoid ever being labeled as such is never do anything that would cause you to be labeled like that. But once you got that type of a bone on your jacket, once you got that type of a reputation, hey, that dude right there, boy, he got the worst type of charges. Shoot, let's go beat him up then. Once you get labeled like that, your time, it deserves to be, it deserves to be pretty bad. So don't ever do anything that would cause you to be labeled any of those four things right there. Number two, you know, sometimes you gotta go into prison or jail, you gotta make a name for yourself. You might have to walk up to that biggest, baddest dude and punch him dead in his face. That is such an urban legend and a myth. That's a prison myth right there. Please don't ever do that. Trying to carry on that gangster, rah-rah type of a persona can cause you to get beat up by the wrong person. 
You know, there's somebody who's been on After Prison Show. I'm not going to Takashi 69 Extra Hot Dog tray them. But uh, they had an altercation with Peaches. And we've talked quite a bit about Peaches. You know, I think Peaches came home last month. I need to really look that person up. They had an altercation with Peaches. And Peaches almost laid the, the stone cold stunner down on this person. You get beat up by somebody you shouldn't get beat up by. And let me just say this as well. You know, just because you're a person is like Peaches, don't think for a second they can't fight because that's probably all they've been doing. But if you get beat up by the wrong person, somebody who's supposed to be a weaker prisoner, somebody who looks like Harry Potter, whatever the situation is, you get beat up by the wrong person, that's going to be your reputation. And then guess what's going to happen? You're going to be targeted. You're going to definitely become the prey. Do not find yourself in a situation where you done laced up and strapped up them shoes, you got them Lamborghinis on, ready to handle business, and then all of a sudden, yeah, I got you. I got you. It's happened to me once. I won't, I won't lie. I got beat up by a guy that was, uh, he was a little slow. And you know, they say them, the, the slow guys, they got that, uh, that tauted strength. This dude, and I could have beat him. Like, he wasn't even that strong. But I was 18 years old, and we started fighting, and the guard ran in there, and this dude was just hitting me. Boom. I'm not fighting him. Guard, boom. Guard, I'm not fighting. Boom. I didn't want to go to the hole. I, don't, I ain't put boom. I'm not putting my head. Boom. You're going to stop hitting me. People were laughing at me, too. I almost never lived that down. Thank God the dude ain't do no damage. Folks, we've addressed a lot of things that you never want to have happen while you're serving time, and we've made our way all the way down to the number one thing making this list. And what that is is you never want to catch more time, additional time, street charges, while you're serving time. You know, everybody thinks that they bout that life, little bow wow, bout it, bout it, until they're faced with a situation where they're looking at more time. You don't never want to have that happen. It almost happened to me once when I stole some sodas out of a cooler that belonged to a guard, and they were threatening me with like a grand larceny or stealing from a police officer charge. I would have told on anybody at that point. I didn't have nobody to tell on, though. I told on myself, and I wrote an apology letter. I was scared. Thank God that apology letter worked. But, you know, when you're in prison and you're trying to carry on that persona that you're tough and some guys really are tough and some guys really don't care. I've seen young dudes at a little soft level 2 prison, Indian Creek, that was flooded with gang activity due to had been sentenced to a BCP behavioral control program or whatever the heck it was called, where they only had to do like 24 to 28 months and then they could go home so long as they completed the program. But in court, they were sentenced to 30, 40, 50, 80 years if they didn't complete the program. I have seen at least two or three dudes while I was serving my time mess up that program because gangs and getting in fights and they ain't never coming home now. They done caught damn near life sentences, if not life sentences, trying to be bout it bout, trying to live that thug life and that tough guy persona. And I guarantee you, all of them dudes, anybody who's ever done it, is sitting wherever they're sitting right now, at some high level, thinking that they could have been home by now. But now, they ain't never going home. You know, I hope for anybody who took the time to watch this video, I hope you never find yourself in a situation where you have to serve time. But if you have served time and you know anything about being in prison or jail, you know that there are things that can make that time a hell of a lot worse than it has to be. It's already going to be a miserable enough experience as it is. There's things that can make that time better, and there's a whole lot of things that can make that time worse. And in this video, I've tried to share with you guys 10 things that you don't never want to have happen while you locked up. And if I forgot any, and I know already I forgot quite a few, you know, I hope you guys will comment down below and let me know what you think are some things that you don't never want to have happen. When you are, if you are, knock on wood, I hope that none of you ever have to be serving time. Hey, look, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did so, please leave a like and a comment. Let me know exactly what you thought about it. And as always, until next time, enjoy life, the free world. Never take a moment for granted, and make the most of every day. Peace! I ain't even worried about the fact that you leaving me and you pregnant by four different guys at the same time. I'm not worried about that. Hey, there's 15 seconds left on this call. I'll call you right back. We're sorry. 
but the number you were trying to dial no longer wants to speak to you. It's obvious they have not I put any phone. more money I'm still on, on the, the phone. phone. Don't worry they about who got here. Double beer Goodbye. all night.